Welcome to iPhone Post. Today we will be reviewing Silent Hunter. The game has two gameplay modes, Campaign and Survival. From the My Menu, the user can choose to continue his last save, start a new game or modify the options of the game. The player can also enter his name which adds to the depth of the game. In terms of graphics, the game looks better than any game I've played on the iPhone, the player being able to travel through enemy ports, which look very carefully designed, and even navigate snowy and stormy seas. There also seems to be a night-day cycle, the time of the day changing from mission to mission. The snow looks very realistic, hindering the ability of the player to shoot with the degun, but that's when the interface of the game helps a lot, the critical zone of a ship being displayed in red on the range bar. The battles against fighters and bombers are impressive, the airplanes launching themselves in a death dive towards the player, firing with all they got. The explosions of the airplanes look really realistic, upon exploding, an airplane disintegrating in parts that fall to the ground, damaging the player if caught underneath. Diving underwater usually taking the chasers off one tail. The weather effects look really good with the sun having lens flare and the storms being filled with thunders. Also, this is the first iPhone game I've seen with 3D water. Most of the game is played through the periscope view, a thing that is normal for a submarine game, the firing and hitting of torpedoes being one of the most rewarding aspects of the game. Scoring a critical hit requires the player to hit with a torpedo directly at the middle of the ship, getting into position to launch such a torpedo requiring a little strategy. The deck gun is another weapon the player can choose to use against his enemies, but this one does less damage than a torpedo and is usually good against merchants and corvettes that don't do much damage if they see you surface. When under attack by powerful ships, the best option is to use a guided torpedo that can be launched from the tactical view and which you can control using the accelerometer for a period of time during which you must hit the enemy ships or you will lose control of the torpedo. The difference between these torpedoes and the normal ones is that they do more damage and also you can launch them from a greater depth. As for the other weapons, hitting in the middle of the ship is usually fatal Unfortunately, the critical hit not being displayed while in the tactical view. After gaining experience in the missions, you can upgrade your AA gun, torpedoes or submarine to better models. The AA gun upgrade increases its fire rate and damage, the torpedoes increase in range and speed, and the two submarine upgrades, Type 9 and Type 21, have increased life and armor, the downside being that you are detected from a greater range. In the survival gameplay mode, 
The player is put against waves of enemies that are assaulting the Bismarck, a legendary German ship from World War II. Once again, this ship is in trouble and its only hope is the submarine that came to its help. After each round, you get to choose between two upgrades, being able to increase your deck gun, AA, or torpedo damage, or other attributes of the submarine, like health or speed. If you try to power through enemy ships, you should know that submarines are not rams, and any impact is fatal, resulting in a destroyed submarine. The game has a high score system that keeps track of the survival mode. These stats, unfortunately, cannot be compared to those of your friends. In terms of sounds, the orchestral music accompanying you along the way is superb, being taken from the PC version, which was composed by the award-winning composer Jason Graves. The 3D sound effects coming from enemy ships, fighters and depth charges add to the immersivity of the game, killing all enemies around the submarine, restoring the calmness of the sea. To sum it all, Silent Hunter is a great submarine game with amazing sounds and graphics, along with many hours of impressive gameplay. In our opinion, the game deserves an 8 out of 10.